Hey guys, got the green on. Um, looks real good. Obviously, it's not dry yet. I'll probably give it, uh, I don't know, a good day, especially since it's a little bit colder out than it should be. But uh, it's inside, so it should stay kind of warm. Here's the hood. It looks good. It's pretty shiny. Um, not. Uh, Super shiny. I mean, at the moment, it looks real good. It's shiny right now because it's wet, but uh, we'll see what it dries to. Um, not very much orange peel. I mean, there's a little bit, but, uh, you know, still uh, still getting it down. But uh, I'll show you what I used for a paint here. And everybody probably knows, if you watch my videos, you got the magic paint. It's the same uh, can I actually used to paint the 214. So uh, it goes fairly far. You'd be surprised. And then and this is what I use for the thinner. This is finish. It came from Napa. It's economy thinner. It's like $25, $26 for that one gallon. Um, I only use this to mix my paint. I've been using that since, uh, I don't know, quite a few of my projects, and it's worked best. And I used the cheap stuff here to clean up. I used that cheap, crappy paint thinner. Um, that stuff's actually white. I don't really care for it. But uh, I ain't wasting the finish. <clears throat> I think this was like $8 for a gallon, where that's $25. And, uh, and a good can of carb clean. I mean, brake clean for uh, you know, cleaning out the gun quicker. I find it easier. And some people may not like that, but that's what I do. So, uh... Yeah, has a port of cable, paint gun, works pretty good, that's what I get out of it, I get that kind of finish as so far, spreads nice, um, pretty even, you just gotta remember you gotta use a paint strainer before you uh, throw the paint in the gun, because it makes a world of difference, like that green paint had some chunks in it, and uh, paint strainer caught quite a bit of it. I think I still got the strainer over here. You'll see all the chunks in there. See all the green chunks? That's why you must absolutely strain the paint before you put it in the gun. There is a little strainer inside the gun, but it'll get clogged up pretty quick and then you'll be painting like crap. So, learn that first time we ever used it for a plow and kept getting clogged. And uh, couldn't figure out why. So we used a paint strainer. And uh, from then on, that's what you get. You get pretty good finish. So, uh, hey guys, hopefully it'll uh, get assembled soon here. And I want to paint the engine black and whatnot, and you know, get the wheels painted yellow and the mower yellow, and just keep picking at this here. So, uh, but it should look pretty nice when it's done. So, hey right, guys, I'll see you later. Any questions? Let me know.